I just saw this um, this post on uh, oh, I just saw this post on Reddit. And well, someone has to come up with that idea, all right? It's yeah. You know what? People uh, these days uh, uh, borrow phones like like it was nothing, right? Like it was nothing. Twenty years ago, when uh, when. Yeah, when the cell phone has, the cell phone already matters twenty years ago, but we never um, we never borrow our we never we never uh, we never lend our phones to anybody anybody else even if it's even if it's our relative a friend nope no can do you don't have your cell phone bro you're done for the day you're done for the day. What am I getting here? What am I getting at here, Reddit? Well, simple. Phones should have a guest mode, right? So that if in the event that you really need to borrow, uh, you really need to uh, to lend your phone to someone, like in the post said, it'll hide all your data, all your images, all your content from that person. All right. It's going to be um, it's going to be a breakthrough idea when uh, when someone comes up with a phone that has this. All right. Maybe they should combine that with the um, with the privacy of blockchain. It'll be more secure. Don't you agree? So here's my power tip for you, Reddit. Ideas that, well, that um, that help us guard our own private data should be supported. All right, support safe technologies. All right, let me repeat that: support safe technologies. This afternoon, I just saw Vanessa Lau's latest video. You know, I posted a few videos and I already got 20,000 followers. And she was, um, basically she was um, telling her viewers what her social media strategy, what her social media strategy will be in 2021. But here's the thing with Instagram. Here's the thing with Instagram, Reddit. In IGTV has disappointed me. Over the past month or so, I could not upload any videos to IGTV. It always fails. Wala no problema sa internet connection namin. Okay? But I consider it a blessing in disguise. All right now, um, Vanessa Lau's social media strategy, well, particularly for Instagram, um, says that we should maybe we should uh, concentrate on reels. Well, I'm in the Philippines, so reels isn't available. Now, what am I driving at here, Reddit? Simple. If it weren't for um, IGTV constant, now constantly snubbing my uploads. I wouldn't be given the chance to um, to make the diaries there exclusive content. Yeah, you heard me, guys. You heard me. I now have the chance. Well, I've been, um, I've been, I've been capitalizing on it. Instead of. Um, Posting it to IGTV as usual, I now post it as stories, right? Because well, only your followers will only 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 your followers will see your stories. Bottom line. So why 
continue to post on IGTV where everybody where everybody on Instagram can see it. Right now, I am more than willing to make the diaries exclusive content. Why? Because it holds my ideas, it holds my um, my views of the world, my aspirations, my goals, right? And as much as possible, only my followers on the, on the different platforms should see it. Okay, you guys are the only ones who should see this. But it's okay if you want to share it. I'm down with that. But for me to actually share the entries, for example, I post it on Reddit, a diary entry. I am not going to share it anywhere. But you can, right? You, the viewer, can. So here's my thought. Here's my power tip for you, Reddit. Add value to your followers with exclusive content. There is actually no need to to expose yourself to the entire world on your public feed or your public profile, for that matter. You got to show. You have to um. Treat yourself with a little respect every now and then. The best way to do that on social media is by giving your current following exclusive content. So right now, the diaries is exclusive content. If you follow me here on Reddit, you will see this here. Not anywhere else. Except for YouTube, alright? Yeah, I gotta do that. <laughs> So again, my power tip. If you want to add value, create exclusive content. I just saw again this um, this well-loved movie called The Ten Commandments. And um, I remember the time when... Uh, when... Holy Week comes around, we would, uh, well, when I was younger, we uh, as a family would watch it. Now that I'm, uh, now that I'll be, uh, I'll be turning 48 in a matter of weeks, I look back at it, well, I remember every scene in that movie, so <laughs> I, I don't have to watch it again. But um, this, uh, Makes me uh, makes me remember uh, the lessons you could apply from uh, from watching that movie, right? It's a classic. It's a classic movie. Well, the number one lesson there that you will you learn is uh, leadership. Moses was the first judge, so he isn't well. Right there and then he took on the role of leader because no Israelite wanted to step up because well, Egypt was a very powerful empire at the time. They, well, Egypt, Egypt was an empire at the time, right? No one could, uh, no one could stand up against them, much less, uh, much less a slave race, of the, much less a, uh, a race of slaves at the time, 400 years uh, of being Egypt's slaves, right? But still went back to Egypt and demanded the re demanded their freedom. And well, of course, well, he just trusted the process. He just trusted God. Eventually, all the all the Israelites were freed, but not without a uh, not without not without a fight, of course. But still, Moses trusted the process. He was able to, uh, to to lead his people out of Egypt. Right? So what am I driving at here, uh, LinkedIn? You know, leadership is basically trusting the process. Right? If you could not trust the process, you're not fit to lead. Right? 
This is the probably the most important lesson I've learned from from the movie The Ten Commandments. All right? Moses was a leader. You know, he, he isn't called the first judge for nothing. Well, like I said a while ago, leadership it's it's all about trusting the process. Okay? So here's my power tip for you, LinkedIn. If you want to be a leader, trust the process first. I'm going to talk about this, um, uh, this post on Instagram that I, uh, uh, that I saw. And what? Well, I wish I had those kinds of friends. <laughs> All right. I wish I had those kinds of friends. Grinding for your brand is uh, makes it a lot harder if your relatives are um, well or aren't into it. They know you're they know you're building a brand, but they're they're not willing they're not willing to help you. All right. That's where that's where friends come in. Okay? That's when friends should come in. Looking at my uh, my current roster of friends, they're not um, they're not that supportive. All right, they are not that supportive. So technically, I'm all alone on this. All right, but what am I driving at here, Instagram? That post uh, is loud on clear and something. If your friends um, can't support or even can't agree with what you're um, uh, with what you're doing for yourself, you might as well switch friends. You might as well revise your circle of friends. All right. Nothing can be truer, right? Nothing can be truer. If they can't, um, uh, if they can't spread the word about your brand, your advocacies, your business, your career, you might as well avoid them all throughout and focus on what matters. Your brand, your business, your career, your life. So here's my power tip for you, Instagram. Always have at least one like-minded friend in your circle. So let me put that in short terms. A like-minded friend is all that matters. As a uh, part of me being um, being absent on IGTV for um, for a good three weeks now, <laughs> uh, I'll be giving you guys here on Instagram a bonus entry. Here it is. I just uh, re-encountered this uh, this LinkedIn post by Tony Robbins. It's about his seven rules of success. Uh, I wholeheartedly agree with him on this. Well, number one, there is people take failure too seriously. Right? We should never take our failures too seriously because failure is also a result. Right? Now, uh, you will be a total idiot if you don't learn from your failures. Right? If you really want to get ahead in your life your business or your brand, your career. If you don't learn from your failures, don't expect a good life for yourself. Okay? When it comes to people being the greatest resource, yeah, I agree. Especially when you're, when you're into network marketing. Right? If you're a network marketer or, or, or any entrepreneur for that matter, do 
not uh, see your people as uh, tools, as um, ways to get around taxes, ways to um, as a uh, profit machine. No, 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 no can do. No can do. Do not do that. They are also humans like you. Okay? So that's why Tony Robbins said, people are your greatest resource. If you do, if you do not um, nurture them, if you do not take care of them, well, they will leave you for another group or another company. All right? Tony Robbins' seven rules of success can be applied anywhere. All right? Uh, it can be for a traditional business. It can be for a franchise. If for, it can even be for your career. Whether you're a doctor, lawyer, or, or, or even a priest. You need people to help you run your life. All right? And well, uh, in the world of network marketing, his seven rules of success should be gospel. All right? If you're a network marketer, I strongly suggest you follow these seven rules. They're so basic. They are so basic. So here's my power tip for you, Instagram. Follow these seven rules of success to the letter. Um, then you will see the results you want. In short, learn from the master. I'm coming on right now because um, this Holy Week has me contemplating on faith. To tell you the truth, faith isn't enough. Okay, faith isn't enough. Why? Well, if you keep on praying and hoping that uh, whatever you whatever you want is going to come through or whatever goals you have will be achieved, guess what? It's not going to be reality. Right? If you do not couple faith with uh, knowledge and hard work, faith will just be a fleeting fantasy for you. Okay? Faith will just be a fleeting fantasy. But what am I driving at here? Well, faith is important, especially if uh, well, you've done the work and still nothing's happening. So that's all. That's all you can rely on right now. I've gone through that, okay, and I'm and I'm and I'm going through that right now. So, well, here's a power tip: faith is all that matters, if and only if you have done the work. All right. In short, unless you've done the work, faith isn't enough. I'm about to uh, end my brainstorming for my next uh, anime review season. And I saw this uh, this lady on TikTok who uh, who does nothing but complain about the ECQ, about uh, about the Philippine government's uh, slow response to COVID nineteen. for my as a as friends only content, but I just couldn't resist. As a fellow Filipino citizen, well, it's my obligation to counter. Her statements. Hindi ko sasabihin yung name niya. 
Ayoko siyang pasikatin eh. You know, people who complain a lot, right? people who complain a lot, never get any, uh, never get any rewards. Alright? Sabihin natin, uh, well, pinaiira nyo prinsipyo. Principles should be coupled with logic. Okay? Kung pa-iiralin ninyo ang, ma, ang, ang twisted principles ninyo without even backing it up with logic, Hindi prinsipyo inyo. Okay? Hindi prinsipyo inyo. Now, I don't want to uh, put a term on that. Basta. Hindi prinsipyo inyo. So, what am I driving at here, TikTok? Well, <laughs> I find her statements on TikTok amusing. Okay? You know, It doesn't hurt to um to 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 lend to lend an ear to such people because you get to learn how not to be that kind of a person. Oh. We're all in a pandemic. The whole world is in a pandemic right now. At sisisihin mo ang gobyerno ng Pilipinas para sa Uh, ano to? Uh, lack of use of infrastructures, lack of uh, and, and all and all the bullshit you've been and all the bullshit she has been uh, talking about as of uh, the past few days. Eh, talagang di magagamit yung mga infrastructures yan. Eh, sino gagamit? Alright? Kapag pinagamit yan, lalong kakalat ang COVID. That's the logic behind it. Okay. Now, here's my power tip for you, TikTok. Before complaining, put some logic into it. Right? Hindi yung hindi yung putak ka ng putak nang hindi nag-iisip ng maigi. Right? I rarely do this. I rarely rent another TikTok user, but this um uh, this lady is forcing my hand. So here's my power tip again. Complaints aren't valid if there's no logic behind it. <laughs> 